as a brand owner, how do you want your customers to hear about your product? Would you prefer Kusha Kapila promoting it to her 3.8 million followers or from a customer who shared their personal experience online? A Mama Earth customer without any paid collaboration posted a video of their experience and got 10,000 views organically. In contrast, Maybelline paid around 1.5 lakhs for a collaboration with Mridul Sharma to get just 120k views. So what's more impactful, UGC or influencers? UGC or user-generated content is essentially your customers doing your marketing for you. It's those product reviews, Instagram posts and unboxing videos created by real users. The consumers have either bought the products themselves or could have a barter collab with the brand. Consumers love UGC because it feels real. They trust real people's opinions more than polished ads. When your customers share their experience, it's authentic and relatable. For example, check out this UGC video where a customer attends a makeup class at Lens Card Store. The video is authentic, unscripted and got 10.5k views from her 55,000 followers. It's relatable. People love seeing others like them using products. Like in this UGC video where a consumer talks about how being a girl means heading to Miniso with your bestie. It's a fun, casual video that taps into shared experiences, making it easy for other women to relate. It's also affordable. UGC doesn't require a big budget. For example, in this video where a user demonstrates a contour hack using Sugar Cosmetics achieved 69.8k views. While the creator herself has 1.3 million followers, the video wasn't part of a paid promotion. It was an organic post showing how powerful UGC can be without a high budget. But UGC isn't perfect. You can't control it. The content can be unpredictable. Not every post will align with your brand's image or meet your quality standards. For example, a consumer humorously points out that five smaller lace packets contain more chips than a single large one. It wasn't exactly flattering for the brand and highlighted a potential negative aspect of the product. It takes time to build up. Getting a steady stream of UGC requires patience. It's not an overnight solution. Brands often need to reach out to thousands of users and coordinate with them for barter deals or incentives. Out of that outreach, only about 4-5% to may accept and actually create the content. This process can be time consuming and requires consistent effort to cultivate a community of engaged customers willing to share their experiences. Influencer marketing, on the other hand, is about paying popular social media figures to promote your brand. These influencers have an established audience that trusts their recommendations. Influencers work because it gives instant exposure. Need to get your brand in front of thousands or millions of potential customers quickly? Influencers can do that. For example, when K-Beauty collaborated with Malvika Sitlani, her review of their new lipstick reached 7.1 million viewers almost instantly, giving the brand widespread visibility immediately. You can also target your audience. You can pick influencers whose followers align with your ideal customers, making your campaign laser-focused. A great example is Make My Trips collaboration with travel influencer Radhika Normlers. Radhika's content focuses on travel adventures and her audience is composed of travel enthusiasts, perfectly matching Make My Trips customer base. It's professional content. Influencers are content creators who know how to make your product look amazing. But here's the catch. It can be pricey. Big influencers come with big price tags. If you're aiming for a celebrity, be prepared to invest. For instance, Ranveer Alavadia typically charges between 10 to 20 lakhs per collaboration. So he collaborated with Wow Cosmetics in this video and got 445k views. While that's a substantial reach, the cost of the collaboration raises questions about return on investments for brands, especially smaller ones that might not see proportional engagement. There are also authenticity issues. 
consumers are clever they know when an influencer is being paid to promote something which can make the message less genuine when avneet kaur partnered with charged energy drink for this video comments like just for brand endorsement don't encourage wrong things reflect how audiences can quickly see through inauthentic endorsements use ugc when you're building trust early stage brands can benefit from ugc to create a sense of authenticity and credibility if you're focusing on engagement UGC helps nurture long-term relationships with your customers, keeping them involved with your brand. If you're on a budget, UGC is perfect for when you want to keep costs low but still need content that resonates. Use influencer marketing when you need fast results. Influencers are perfect for launching products, sales, or hitting short-term goals. If you want to break into new markets, influencers with loyal followings in specific niches or regions can help you enter new spaces quickly. If you need high quality content, influencers can deliver polished, professional content that elevates your brand image. The real magic happens when you combine UGC and influencer marketing. Use UGC to build lasting connections with your audience and bring in influencers when you need to scale fast or create a buzz. By understanding the strengths of each, you can align them with your brand goals for maximum impact.